Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly update video for this week. We're going to read Psalm 96, have a little think about that. You know we did last week Psalm 95, so it sounds very similar. Um, and throughout the, the Psalms, 13 verses, the covenant name of God, Yahweh, capital L-O-R-D in English translation, is used 11 times. And that's meant to remind us that um, the writer is talking about the personal promise keeping covenant God so it's it's very intimate psalm um, and it's about uh, the worship that is due to to this God our God um, so I'll just read the first uh, couple of verses and then you can spend some time reading the rest of it yourself today oh sing to the Lord a new song sing to the Lord all the earth sing to the Lord bless his name tell of his salvation from day to day Declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are worthless idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Splendour and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are his sanctuary. So, it's just a great reminder that here is the the covenant name of God used, but attributing and ascribing to him greatness and majesty and how he is far above all gods. And the other gods are just worthless idols, but he is worthy of our praise and his salvation should be what we're singing about and we should be telling his glory to those people around us. So yeah, 11 times in 13 verses, the psalmist uses the covenant name of God. He is our God and we are his people. I hope that's a real encouragement to you uh, today. In terms of notices, there's not a great deal uh, this week to share with you. Just um, hope you've seen on the Facebook page this week, we've had another update from Dave uh, regarding the coronavirus vaccine and the way that's going. And also there's some helpful answers to some common questions at the end of that video. So please do have a look at that. Thanks again to Dave for the time uh, and effort and expertise in preparing that for us. Also, hopefully you'll have noticed a video from Jane Tasker about supporting some work that's going on in Lebanon. The full details are there on the Facebook page about how you can get involved, what you can do and the type of things uh, that you can supply. You can bring them in uh, and drop them off at the center. We've got um, a basket to put all that stuff in. So if you come in with some of the stuff on that list and just say it's for it's for the Lebanon appeal, then we, we can look after that for you. And then that will all go over uh, and be organised by Jane sometime in the near future. We are thinking of dates for returning to in-person worship. We're waiting for the government announcement on Monday uh, just to see if there's anything specific in that that we need to be aware of. And if not, we'll be looking to come back early March and we'll be sharing some uh, thoughts and ideas and uh, protocols regarding that nearer the time. Sunday we'll continue our series in Joshua, we'll be looking at chapter 6 or maybe have a read of that beforehand um, and yeah I think that's all from me so short and sweet this week hopefully it's an encouragement to you read that psalm let it uh, fill your soul and let it cheer your heart as you rejoice in the salvation of our Lord. Have a great day, God bless you, take care.